I bought this unit to replace my R85i from Renai which had a cracked heat exchanger. Most places wanted around $600 for a new exchanger, so I opted to just buy a complete new heater. Mostly because with the old unit, the electronics had been exposed to water and even if I replaced the exchanger and it worked, for how long? You get the idea. This unit is almost a direct drop in replacement for my older R85i. Huge kudos to Renai for keeping the form factors nearly the same. This makes replacing an older unit that much easier. Thank you Renai. There are some differences though. The chimney diameter is different by about a millimeter. Meaning you have to buy a new one. Slightly disappointing. The mounting holes lined up for the most part. The ending position of the water and gas lines was virtually the same. This saved me a lot of time as I didn't have to do much to the plumbing. I did add a 3 core filter system though and had to re-plumb that. Also I used the steel braided lines going to the hot slash cold as you aren't supposed to run PEX directly to an appliance. I did not install the old unit. Overall very pleased. This unit is rated at 8. XGPM and my old unit was 9. XGPM. Can I tell the difference? No. This is a convincing unit though, it is much higher efficiency than the old unit. The old unit was something like 80%, this one is something like 95%, don't quote me, look it up. Because of this there is a condensing line you need to plumb. You have to do this, do not just cap it and let the water pool, it will flow into the electronics of the box and ruin it. I'm told if you want to go higher that 120F you need to buy a separate controller. Honestly not an issue for me. I set it at 120F and forget it. My old unit was set at 115F. I can't tell the difference. Really, I can't think of a reason you would need slash 140F to add water anyway. YMMV. Here is a photo of my setup, incomplete, with my 3 core water filter. No, I did not install the gas line, some other boob did that. My understanding is that the flex gas line is only supposed to be used for the final 36 inches to an appliance, apparently the previous installer got that backwards. I am going to redo the gas line at some point. I love this water heater. I am feeding a whole house with 3 showers, 1 kitchen sink, 1 dishwasher, 1 laundry room sink, 1 washer and a half bath with sink. I ended up adding a Bosch GL4S Ariston 4 gallon point of use indoor electric mini tank water heater under our kitchen and another under our master bathroom that is 60 of pipe away from the heater. It took about 1 minute to deliver 140 degree water before and now it takes about 5 to 10 seconds to deliver instant hot water from the small electric heaters. I removed our old 50 of half an inch gas line and replaced it with 3 quarters of an inch to provide the adequate amount of gas to support 199,000 BTUs. I replaced a worn out 47 gallons gas heater with this one. That heater was vending through the roof in our garage and had about 10 of venting with 3 elbows. Due to the high cost of the Renai concentric exhaust for my application, I chose to the Renai 223,188 12 inch universal concentric vent through the wall of our garage and that was cheaper and easy to punch through our brick wall. BTW, you will need a large, 3 quarters of an inch gas flex line and cannot use a 5 eighths of an inch one from Home Depot with excess flow valve. It will cut off when this heater cranks up. Click link in description for more reviews and best price.